Some Muslims have been fuming over a couple of tweets made by Andrew Tate and Sneeko, both tweets saying that Christ is king. But the reason for why they made these tweets probably isn't what you think. Let's talk about it. So yesterday on X, Sneeko made a tweet saying Christ is king. And only a few hours later, Andrew Tate tweeted saying, as a Muslim, it warms my heart to see the resurgence of spirited Christian declarations. Christ is king. And I pray Christianity regains its strength and protects its societies against the pervasive and constant erosion of morality by the devotees of Satan. If you accept everything, you stand for nothing. Now, this should be absolutely shocking to anyone that knows anything about their past. Both Andrew Tate and Sneeko recently converted to Islam and have both made countless insulting remarks towards Christians and Christianity. I think Christianity is a joke. I think it's a, it's a joke of a religion. I, I didn't really resonate with Christianity a lot growing up because it's like, it doesn't make sense to me to pray to a man. I don't want to submit to a man. Now, even though a lot of Christian commenters were, of course, happy to see Andrew Tate and Sneeko tweeting that Christ is king, it still seems strange to me that both of them, on the same day, would be posting such bold claims about Christ when they believe Christ to only be a prophet and find Christianity blasphemous because it teaches that Jesus was not just a prophet, but God in human flesh. And given this, it seemed obvious that their tweets would enrage a lot of their Muslim audiences on X, who praise Tate and Sneeko every time they attack or say something negative about Christianity. Christianity. So I decided to go to the comment section for confirmation on this, but I was still shocked at what I saw. On the one hand, of course, there were some negative comments from Muslims. Under Andrew Tate's tweet, this Muslim commenter wrote, Christ is not king. Jesus, peace be upon him, is a prophet, messenger, and servant of the one true king, God whom we refer to as Allah. And in response to the part of Tate's tweet where he says that he prays that Christianity regains its strength, this guy says, I pray that Christianity continues to weaken and that Islam continues to grow, and that shirk and kuffar replace with taweed, inshallah. Another Muslim wrote, it's Ramadan, have some shame. Another, no, Andrew Tate, Jesus is a messenger, will return as a Muslim, will preach Islam, not Christianity, and pray that everyone should get some knowledge so that they may be able to see the truth. And on Sneeko's post, Muslim commenters wrote things like, one of Allah's 99 names is the king. Don't associate Allah's name with his prophet Esau, peace be upon him. It is prohibited to do this. I sincerely advise you to delete this, my brother. Brother, delete this. This is not right. He is the prophet of Allah. How is he king when he is a prophet? But even though there were some negative comments from Muslims in the comment section, the amount of negative comments from Muslims were low. Actually, suspiciously low. Even Lauren Chin commented about this by saying, interesting that I have yet to see a Muslim person take offense to the whole Christ is King controversy. Some are even proclaiming it themselves, as she shared Andrew Tate's tweet. But still, after talking about Islam and dealing with so many Muslims throughout the years, I still found all of this to be far too suspicious. Things just weren't adding up, and I knew that there was some context that I had to be missing. So I called my friend David Wood to see if he could provide some clarity about what was going on here. And before I play that call for you, we have to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. In 2022, there were nearly a half million cases of identity theft reported, and last year, over one million. All of them learned the hard way that anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, your phone number, and even your relatives. The reason why they can get your information is because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to telemarketers, spammers, and really anyone who wants your info. Aura will not only identify those data brokers who are exposing your information to telemarketers, but they'll also automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists as well. And in addition, Aura also monitors your emails and passwords to see if they've been involved in a data breach and exposed in the dark web. And if that wasn't enough, their app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. So in other words, Aura has almost every internet safety tool that you'll ever need all inside of one app. And the best part is, is if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial by going to aura.com slash what do you mean, or by scanning the QR code on the screen. So go there now and in two weeks, you'll see just how much of your private information they can find exposed. All right, now back to the video. Yo, D-Dub, what up, bro? Yeah, yeah. Hey, real quick. I was on Twitter and I saw Sneeko and Andrew Tate both posting Christ is King at the same time. And there was a lot of weird things that seemed to be going on. So I was kind of wondering if you knew why they were posting that, because it looked a little suspicious to me. Brilliant strategy, but evil. This is parallel I can think of to, to how this is being used is Black Lives Matter. So the founders of uh, Black Lives Matter were admitted Marxists. It's a mark. It was, they, they were a group of trained Marxists 
who are trained to sell Marxism. Marxism wouldn't work well for a Western audience, but if you use the, a slogan, Black Lives Matter, which no one can object to, as a shield, you can block criticisms of your actual agenda. You have you have white supremacists doing the exact same thing right now. They're, they're using Christ is King as a shield so that when you object to what they're saying, they say, oh, you're objecting to me because I'm saying Christ is King. The person I saw who was really kicking this off was Nick Fuentes. He has a group called the Groypers, and so they're these, uh, yeah, so they're, they're, they're constantly blasting Jews and trying to, uh, trying to encourage hostility against you. And they, they want a, a white Christian nation. That's what they want. So what, what these guys started doing is running around like harassing Jews. Ah, you filthy Jew, you filthy Zionist pig. Christ is king, Christ is king, Christ is king. And, and they just kept bombarding with that. And then when, the, when someone would respond, I go, oh, look, see, they hate Christ. They, we, all, all we're doing is saying Christ is king. What's wrong with that? See, see how angry they get when, when we say Christ is king. Lots of people falling for this because they see, uh, they see people warning them saying, hey, guys, don't, be careful of this Christ is king stuff. You don't, you don't realize what this is being used for right now. And people are like, what? You're not going to get me to not say Christ is king. No, Christ is king. And meanwhile, you've got, uh, you've got neo-Nazis giggling themselves silly that people are actually falling for this. So, uh, Okay, so just so I'm clear, so what seems to be going on is that Nick Fuentes and them have been chanting Christ is king as an attack basically kind of against Jews, right? And so because the hostility between Israel and Palestine and um, a lot of Muslims and especially Sneeko and Andrew Tate, they've been talking about how they're anti-Zionism and anti-Israel, that sort of thing. So, and they have hostility towards the Jews. So they're using the slogan as a way to taunt the Jews. Is that right? Yeah, so why think, why would Andrew Tate and Sneeko, Muslims, all of a sudden be saying, be running around just on the, again, on the same day, Christ is yeah. king, Christ is king, Christ is king. They have to be aware of how it's being used and what the actual purpose is. Just like we should all believe, we should all agree 100%, Black Lives Matter, that doesn't mean you have to fall for how it's, or how the slogan is being used to mask uh, an, an underlying agenda. Well, that certainly seemed to make a lot more sense. And in congruence with David's point, this lady posted on X that Crisis King is being used as a dog whistle directed at Jews. She also included a clip and said that Nick Fuentes is chanting Crisis King with his followers after giving a speech about killing and going to war with the Jews. Now, I wasn't able to find the original video that she clipped from, so I wasn't able to verify her claims, but if she is right, this explains why so many anti-Jewish Muslims would be in support of the phrase Christ is King, something that obviously they've never chanted before. And if David is right, then Tate's tweet seemed to be far more clever than Sneeko's because even though Tate is still trolling, he worded it in a clever way to avoid blowback and have plausible deniability. I mean, let's look at it again. He wrote, as a Muslim, it warms my heart to see the resurgence of spirited Christian declarations, Christ is King. Now, of course, he seems to be saying this as a way to taunt the Jewish people that he's against. And then he moves into sneak dissing Christians for the same thing that he's mocked them for all along, being weak and not standing for anything. Christianity is a joke. If you're gonna be tolerant of everything and stand for nothing, then I don't think you have it. If you accept everything, you stand for nothing. But here's something that I think that all of us can take away from this. Of course, the phrase Christ is King is not inherently anti-Semitic. Christians have been saying this since the time of Christ. However, if someone is using the phrase with racial intent or for their political gain, then it's sinful. From scripture, we not only know that Christ is King, but also that there's no difference between the Jew and the non-Jew, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. And because the phrase Christ is King is so important and sacred to us, we would never want to use the phrase as a weapon to hurt others or for some other worldly agenda. Instead, we only want it to be used as a matter of fact, while not allowing others to hijack the phrase for evil. And if you want to see what Andrew Tate and Sneeko really think about Christianity, go ahead and check out one of these videos and I'll see you over there. But the next time you hear someone saying Christ is king and trying to hijack that for evil, what are you going to say? What do you mean?